Hello, I'm Captain Bert Diener, and I'm going to show you how to gash and prepare a pickerel for frying. So, if you've caught a chain pickerel, first thing is you need to need to scale it. Cap a half a dozen today, and we're going to gash them up for lunch tomorrow. So, what you need to do first is you need to scale this fish. I've got a couple different scalers that work on different fish, but this butter knife with its serration seems to work just as well as about anything. So we got that. Now I'm going to rinse it off. I'm going to scale all of them at one time. Going to rinse him off, put him back on ice, and then we'll, then we'll clean the board and then we'll fillet them all at once. He's ready to go. Stick him back on ice. The reason that you don't just fillet a pickerel is because he has a lot of Y bones and he's he's pretty bony so if you gash that fish uh, the heat of the oil when you're frying it actually makes those bones where they're edible and you don't have to uh, you can just eat it like a normal fillet you don't have to do any fancy uh, cutting when you're filleting the fish. So. All right I've cleaned the scales off I've got the electric knife ready to go and we're going to go ahead and fillet this fish. Do it this like a normal fillet. Go down. And there's one fillet and you can see the Y bones, or I can feel the Y bones in that. It's no big deal if you get that fin. Just come in and take it out. There we go. There's your second fillet. And what you want to do then is cut the rib cage out. So you cut that rib cage out. Feeling with my fingers where those bones are. All right. So the rib cage is gone, and here's your fillet. You can feel the bones down in there. And that's what the gashing does, is it makes those bones soft so that you can just eat them. All right, so the way I'm going to do this, this is a little bit smaller fish. I'm going to cut it about there, and then probably cut it about there. Now, you've got your skin still attached, and what you're going to do is every quarter, eight to the quarter inch, you're going to go down. You're going to, what's called gash it. You can hear that clicking. So what you're going to do is you're going to gash this about every eighth to quarter of an inch, all the way for that whole fish finger. You're going down to the skin, but not through the skin. And that's going to leave, it's going to open up like that. And when you bread it, the breading will get down in that. And then the grease will heat it up and it'll, the skin will curl like that. And we'll show you the finished product, but that, that gets the bones where they're edible. It's a lot of work, but they were delicious. All right, we're ready to put together our shore lunch. We're 70 miles away from shore, but here it is. We've got our fillets. We've already gashed them. Those are our pickerel fillets. Um, I like house altry seafood breader, but just bread it in whatever. Nothing specific about this. Just dump your breader into the bag and bread the fillets. Right, we're going to try to get it down in that whole thing. And there is your fillet. We've got them breaded and it is ready to drop in the grease. So what you do, I'm going to leave my pan down so that it's hitting in the grease and it will curdle up when these the skin will tighten up and these pieces will actually curdle up and what you're trying to do is cook it pretty hot and you want to get it good and brown so that these bones will actually fry to the point where you can't taste them at all and you can eat the whole filet if you do it right all right back in a few minutes. All right, I've done about four to five minutes here and they look delicious. That's what they're supposed to look like. The little fingers cook apart, the oil heats it, 
and gets rid of the bones where they're edible. And if I've done it right, that is our fried jackfish. Salt them just a little more, and they're ready to eat. This is a chain pickerel, and some of the keys are to try to get the breader down in those little fingers, the little gashes. And also you need to cook it a little bit longer than you would normal fish so that those bones dissolve a little more. Enjoy.